So let us take a consideration of our transformers working with a single phase transformer. It is one of the most important part that you need. So you're gonna talk about this, then later on, you're gonna also talk about the three phase transformers. So also make sure that you do join the membership so that you do not miss any of the videos that we're gonna have uh, from our N3 subjects. I explained that on the membership video, make sure that you go through that video so that you do understand about this membership, how it works. Anyways, guys, let us uh, have our revision. Question number eight, 8.1. The efficiency of a transformer is very high because it has no moving parts, which is true. And there for no frictional losses, name two types of losses that okay in a transformer and state exactly in which part exactly in which part of the transformer each occurs so any loss that you're going to name you must name where exactly it is occurring so we have got the winding losses which the one that we consider as our copper uh, losses. Where is uh, where exactly do these copper losses or the winding losses these occur in the primary and the secondary winding? As I'm saying, winding losses they occur in the windings. Okay, so these occurs in the primary. So you're gonna have the primary and the secondary. So it's gonna be both the primary and the secondary windings. So this is what you're going to consider on the copper losses. Then the other part, we've got the iron losses. So we also have uh, the iron losses, which we can consider as the core losses. So these occurs, uh, these like the okay in the core. These are core losses. So they occurs uh, in the core of the transformer, of the transformer. All right, so in this case, these are the ones that we consider as the, the core losses, they, they, they okay in the core like ion losses, okay? So that is what you were given on this part. 8.2, we are given that there is a single phase transformer which has got 1,000. So take note, the first thing is to consider what are you given single, single phase. So this is a single phase, okay? So you are considering uh, a single uh, phase in this case. And we are given that it has got 1,250 primary turns. So these are the turns in the primary. That is our N1, 1,250. And 400 secondary turns in the secondary we have got uh, 400 tens. The supply voltage is the supply, meaning to say we are given V1 on the supply, okay? Considering the supply, that is your V1. So you must be very, very careful on what you're given. Remember the relationship that you consider, guys, on the transformer where you have got this core, uh, this and that. Remember, uh, the primary side, you're going to have uh, the windings on the primary and also the windings that you are going to consider in the secondary. So what is the relationship that we have? This relationship does not change. V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2, which is equal to current two over current one, considering a single phase transformer. So the question is calculate the secondary voltage on 8.21. So calculate the secondary voltage. So the secondary voltage, we can relate to the part where there's voltage. As you can see, there is the voltage V1 and we've got the tens N1 and N2. So you can consider V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2. If you were given uh, the current, it was gonna be I2 over I1. So take note, you must consider what you're given. So you can make V2 the subject or you can just substitute your values that you're given. That is your V1 as 240 over V2 is equal to N1 
we are given as 1250 and our N2, this is 400. So how can we find this? We can cross multiply, that is V2 times 1250. All right, so you're gonna just have something like this. 1250, V2 is the product of these two, which is the product of uh, the 240 and the 400. That is 240 times 400. So we can divide by 1250 to determine our V2. All right, so let's divide 1250 both sides. 1250 both sides. There we are going to obtain uh, the secondary voltage as 76,8 volts. So that's the idea there. As long as you're on a single phase, guys, your formulas, they're going to be uh, as direct as that. You're just going to need that relationship. Then 8.22, the secondary current, if the transformer draws a current or it draws, it takes a current or from where? From the supply. It draws a current off. That is from the supply. That is current one of 12 amps. So from these, calculate the secondary current, which is I2. So you do not know this. So since you calculated V2, you can use that. But just for the sake, maybe your V2 is wrong. You are, remember, this is an exam. You're under an exam, and maybe this is wrong. So how are you going to do that? Work with what you're given already. I'm not saying to use the V2 is wrong. You can use that, but you can work with what you're already given. What is important is that if you are to relate with the terms of the current, as you can see, it is the, only the current that is changing I2 over I1. It's only the part of current which is changing. So meaning to say we can even take this N1 over N2 considering to that. So N1 over N2 is equal to I2 over I1. If you wanted, you can use V1 and V2 because you calculated that if you are very sure about your values, if you are very sure about your values, then use those values as they are. But if you know that you are not sure about the value that you calculated here, then please use what you are already given. Okay, so what is it that you want to calculate? It's I2. So you're going to substitute N1, which is 1250 over N2. That is 400 is equal to I2, which is the one that you want to calculate on the secondary side, given the primary side of 12 amps. So what is going to be our I2? That is the question. So if you had to cross multiply, uh, what are you going to have? The 400 multiplies this, the 12 multiplies this. So that is 400 times I2. All right, which is equal to the product of this and this, that is 12 times 1250. So definitely to determine uh, this current I2, you're going to divide by the 400 both sides. So dividing this, you are going to obtain uh, the value of I2 in that case. All right, so what is our current to, that was going to be 37,5 amps, which is the current that we are having on the secondary side. You're considering what is on the secondary side. So guys, like I said, you could have considered the V1 over V2 is equal to I2 over I1. Still, you can obtain the same value by substituting uh, the proper values that you are given. So I want you to try that and see if you are going to obtain uh, the same answer. On 8.23, we are now given to calculate the rating of the transformer, but not just the rating, but in kilo volt amperes. All right, so the question is, how can we calculate this voting, uh, this rating of a transformer? So the rating of a transformer is the volt ampere. This is the volt ampere. So as you can see, the guys, they already gave us kilo volt ampere. From that alone, it tells us, what are you working with? This is the apparent power, the one that is measured in volt ampere. So that is voltage times current. So if you're considering the input is going to be V1, I1. This is the volt ampere. So to convert to the kilovolt ampere, what am I going to do? I'm going to divide by 1,000. By dividing by 1,000, the answer that I'm going to obtain is in kilovolt amperes. So that is the idea there. So already having the V1, which is 240 times I1. Remember, I1 you're given, that was 12 
amps over 1000 so this is going to give us uh if you are to divide by 1000 that was going to be 2.88 so this is 2.88 uh kilovolt amperes so the question is what if i was to use the v2 and i2 yes you're going to have the same answer as this uh, kilovolt ampere that we are having which is the rating of a transformer so the rating of a transformer it can also be calculated from the output values meaning to say from the secondary side if you are to use the v2 and i2 still you are supposed to obtain uh, the same answer remember the v2 is the voltage that we calculated it's only that i erase but remember i2 37 comma 37 comma 5 remember your v2 when you calculated it was 78 comma 6 uh 76 comma 8 then times this i2 which was 37 comma 5 then if you had to divide by 1000 we are going to have the same value which is 2,88 and it is in kilovolt amperes. So be careful on the calculations. This can be another way you can also use uh, the secondary side. It's not like always you must work with the primary side. So that was our question, 10 marks. These are the typical questions that you're supposed to expect and more on the three phase, we shall talk about that.